G'day ice cream lovers, my name is Steve Christensen. Welcome to this session of The Scoop School. Nice to have you here, whether you're uh, kind of sitting in the bathtub watching this, sitting at home uh, in, the, in the bedroom, sitting on the couch. Uh, what a great world we live in where technology allows you to learn how to open or grow an ice cream business from the comfort of your own home. We do want to thank our episode sponsor that's made that comfort available, and that is Turnkey Parlor. I always say that when American accent, I would say turnkey parlor, you say turnkey parlor. Uh, you can click on the link below. Basically, they've got a pretty impressive website to tell you the truth. There's a lot of training videos there, a lot of full store equipment you can buy, a lot of new equipment, a lot of used equipment, batch freezers, dipping cases. The world's your oyster down there at uh, turnkey parlor. Neil Williams, uh, super nice guy and his crew down there. Click on the link, tell them that I said hello, and we thank them for their episode sponsorship. Now, yesterday, uh, I shouldn't say yesterday, because it could be any time that you were watching the last one. Let's just say, in the last video, we spoke a little bit about ordering and uh, the process of bill to numbers and filling this out. In this video, it's going to be relatively simple, relatively quick. Neil from Turnkey Parlor is like, why was I selected to sponsor this video? It's going to be over in two minutes. Well, here is a uh, special tip for you, and it might seem like common sense, but again, not a lot of ice cream shop owners do this, and it's when you do your inventory, or as I mentioned in the previous video, when you do your stock take. No, no, that's not taking stock. That's actually counting things. Now, I know that many of you think when the store's empty and quiet and there's no pestering customers, there's no employees asking for time off or a raise, or I want to be a supervisor because Carly is. If there's none of that happening. You can come into the shop, take your time, put on some soothing music, maybe a bit of fooies, a bit of akadaka, and just basically do inventory then when you're nice and uninterrupted? Well, the answer is that's probably the worst time to do inventory because no one can see you doing inventory. The best time to do inventory is when your crew are there watching you do inventory. And it's a relatively simple process. Your crew, even the managers, everybody that works for you need to see you counting cups. They need to see you counting boxes of chocolates. They need to see you counting everything that you have to show them that you keep an eye on what's happening so far as inventory is concerned. We mentioned this sheet in the previous video. It is really important to do that, but a lot of theft and a lot of misappropriation of M&Ms um, will basically be eliminated because they can see Mr. C's out the back, counting everything, taking down notes, filling out his inventory order sheet. And, you know, the mentality is that, well, I mean, I was going to take home a box of cookies tonight, but I'm not going to because he's counted them. Uh, it seems like a pretty simple process, but again, it's just another very delicate layer to basically show your employees that you've got your finger on the pulse even though I held up my thumb. Show your employees that you've got your finger on the pulse so far as what's happening in the business. Extremely important. Again, may not be the most convenient. Uh, you may want to come in when it's nice and quiet and kind of take care of business. And some items, it's okay to do that. But when you're doing inventory, make sure that people can see you so that they know that you've basically know what's coming in and going out of the store at any given time based on uh, your inventory count. Again, simple principle. Uh, a lot of us don't even really think about it, but being an ex-policeman, I know that the process of simply implying that you know everything that's going on in the store, you're counting inventory, uh, is enough for basically opportunists to think, I'm nah, not going to take home the box of cookies tonight. And look, in the grand scheme of things, you may only watch this for three minutes, but it saved you a box of cookies. Thank you again to our sponsor, uh, Turnkey Parlor, uh, and all of the sponsors. In fact, if you go to scoopschool.com, click on the supplier tab, all of those sponsors who basically help us provide free content for you every single day, please visit them. They're great people. We love doing business with them. We get a lot of great feedback saying, hey, someone called up the other day, said they were our Scoop School watcher, and that uh, basically is the circle of life coming together. Thank you for joining us. Keep on scooping. We'll see you in the next video. Yeah.